I'm Steve from This Week With Cars, and I'm back in my 1966 M109 A3 military truck conversion. Today I have more upgrades for both the inside and the outside of the truck. Another change I'm going to make, when I originally installed my solar panels, I put these four up here. I just got two more, so this will give me 600 watts of power instead of the 400 watts of power that I had before. My four original panels are connected in series, so I'll just disconnect them and add these two panels so that all six of them are connected in series together. Now I have the two new solar panels installed and I took the time to clean the four old ones. Even a little bit of dirt affects how well the solar panels work, so you must keep them clean at all times. I went and bought this Kurt Commercial Duty trailer hitch. This is good for 20,000 pounds and the frame spacing should be the same to mount it straight up to the truck here. So I'll drill a couple holes and get this bolted on. There are a couple rivets here at the end of the frame that will need to be ground out and either have a bolt put them through them or be welded on there. Okay, I've got it installed. Did have to grind those rivets down, put six bolts in it, three on each side and put a bolt through where the rivets used to go through between those brackets right there. Should be good and strong. And between this and the pintle hitch, I can pretty much pull any trailer that I want to. For pulling normal automotive trailers, I have this Kurt drop hitch. This will drop a maximum of six inches and it can also raise the hitch five inches as well. So this will give me a lot of flexibility for making sure that the trailer is sitting at the correct level. And I also got these steps, which goes right into the receiver, so I don't have to carry around that heavy ladder anymore. That ladder with steel, they do make aluminum ones, but I don't have the aluminum one. So this is lightweight, I can throw it in the back or maybe find a place outside to keep it. And I won't have to be lugging around that heavy ladder all the time. Putting a trailer hitch on your truck is only half of the issues though. You need also an adapter to go from the military trailer plug to a civilian trailer electrical connection. This is the seven pin. Down here is the four and five pin trailer connectors. You can either convert your trailer to run on 24 volt, which is what these military trucks provide, or you can get a relay box. And this box here converts the 24 volt signals from the military truck down to 12 volt to be used with civilian trailers. This allows me to use any trailer without converting the lights or brakes to use 24 volts. First, I wanna give you a couple updates since the last video. Now I have a faucet installed here over the sink. I did cut a new piece of wood out of the section that I cut out for the sink here so that this all matches. I don't have water and a water pump hooked up to that yet, so that will come in future videos. But the sink can still have water be dumped into it because I have it tied into a bucket. So the sink will drain down into this five gallon bucket, which I can empty after the camping trip. You can see on these cabinets that I installed last time, they are tied together right now with that stainless steel piece of square there. And then there's also diamond tread along the bottom, which ties it to the four by four platform underneath it. And it's also tied to the wall right there. Over in this space over here, I do have a new cabinet, just like this one right here with all these drawers to put over in that corner. But before I do that, I need to update something over here. In one of my first videos on this truck, I installed this battery charger. I've actually gone through two of these chargers now. This one is broken again. So I'm going to replace that with a different style. I'm gonna replace it with this one right here. This is also a 24 volt charger and this thing is substantial this weighs a lot this one right here hardly weighs anything so i would not recommend buying one of these so i'll get this installed and we'll see how well this works in comparison i have the new charger installed right now got it plugged in and working i will put a link to all of the things that you see me installing today in the description below and if you keep up with my videos on this truck you'll be able to find out if this is a good quality battery charger now that the charger is installed, I can move the cabinet in, which will be hiding all of this and give me a good place to store more stuff and a little bit of counter space. I got the cabinet in, but it's a very, very tight fit. I didn't think it was going to go in for a second. It's almost like this cabinet and this bed frame were made to go into this truck. So I'll just secure it to the floor with these holes that I've drilled into the bottom there. And then I'll also put some brackets on the sides, just like I did on the other cabinets. 
This cabinet I'm going to leave lower though. I'm not gonna put the four by fours underneath it because I want this one to be used as a nightstand and be lower to the ground. And there's the cabinet installed. I even have the bracket here on the corner. This is a bracket that actually comes with the cabinet that I've repurposed. It's not something that would, you would use for this installation anyways. So it's almost like these cabinets were made to be used in this manner. Okay, now I've got this outlet with these USBs mounted here. I think that will be great for running phones, charging them at night, things like that. Other things I want to plug in. The USB ports on this outlet allow me to power my radio, which does have a wireless charging for my cell phone on there. And this thing that I'm going to try out. This has a fan built into it. So it has three speeds, but it also has a container on the top. And on that container, you can put ice cold water or just water in there. And it works as a swamp cooler. So I'm hoping that this will be able to take the edge off on really hot days. I did order two different kinds. This is the only one that's here right now but uh, I'll be testing these and we'll see how these work. And one last quick addition to the inside is a tiny microwave. I found this on Amazon. It's very small, fits perfectly up on these original shelves. It's very low power as well, so you don't need a very big inverter or generator to run it. Again, I think I've made a huge transformation in this video compared to where we started. I really like how well things are coming together in this truck. And if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.